the German Blitz. Berlin was on fire. That's what it looked like from the roof. Orange-red glows silhouetted the broken shapes of buildings, each inferno sprouting a thick, acrid mushroom cloud of smoke. The air smelled like burning metal and spent firecrackers, tasted like fireplace ash and cement dust. The Americans knew the way to Berlin now as if they were flying from New York to Philadelphia and back and they dropped their bombs on the city all at once, like children opening their fists to let handfuls of pebbles drop to the ground. Hundreds of thousands of bombs fell on Berlin, illuminated by the giant German searchlights that swept the dull gray skies for bombers. The thundering, teeth-clattering explosions of the bombs was accompanied by the staccato boom, 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 boom of the Nazis' aircraft guns, anti-aircraft guns. Yellow streaks shot into the sky, exploding among the planes with pops like fireworks. One of the AA guns in the streets detonated like a cherry bomb, and I flinched. The searchlights made the guns perfect targets for the bombers they were trying to shoot down. I'd never been outside during an air raid before. This is what's going to happen to that factory, I said. What factory, Simon asked. The one I I stole the secret location for, I said. I told Simon about finding the numbers in the playing card in the automaker's study. Da sent the message off in the diplomatic pouch this morning. In a few weeks, a few days maybe, British planes will fly over it and do this. I was always so excited to help, but but it won't be soldiers in those factories, will it? No, Simon said. It'll be prisoners, most likely. I shrank. I had been worried enough when I thought it would be German civilians, but prisoners? Innocent people? Now they were all going to die because of me. If we didn't bomb those factories, if we didn't drop these bombs here today, the Nazis would win, and there would be even more prisoners. Even more innocent people would die, Simon said. Sometimes good people have to be sacrificed to win a war. My mother had told me the same thing in her way about leaving Simon behind. But we hadn't sacrificed Simon, and it was good that we hadn't. How do you decide who to sacrifice and who to save? Bad as this is, Simon continued, the Nazis did ten times worse to us during the Blitz. He spoke quietly, even though it was hard to hear over the explosions. German planes overhead, almost every night, dropping hundreds of thousands of firebombs on London. People huddled in tube tunnels, lying down along the subway tracks, little kids crying, babies wailing, and up on top, the whole blooming city reduced to rubble. More than eight months of it, 57 nights in a row one time. He paused, watching buildings explode. Payback. That's what this is. I knew about the Blitz, short for Blitzkrieg, Lightning War. Poland, Belgium, the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, France, they had all fallen in a matter of months, sometimes weeks, sometimes even hours. But Hitler hadn't been able to conquer England. The Battle of Britain, fought entirely in the skies, was supposed to have crippled England and demoralized her people, made it ripe for an amphibious assault across the English Channel. When it didn't, Hitler gave up on England and turned east toward Russia. England got knocked down and got back up again. But it might not be able to do that a second time if the Nazis developed jet planes. Which was why I was up here in the first place, I remembered, to get over my fear of... My stomach seized up as I suddenly remembered where I was. My head bobbed like a barrage balloon. My legs went wobbly and the rest of me froze. I fell face first toward the floor of the roof.